To speak to the resolution, the chair recognizes Representative Yancey. Permission to speak to the resolution. So thank, you. thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to honor a trailblazer, a hero, and a force of good. Barbara Rose Collins had a heart of service that was unmatched. No matter the position she held from the city of Detroit all the way to Washington, D.C., she was always focused on delivering for her constituents. As a representative in this chamber, she served House District 21 that my colleague here to my right now represents. At the time, it was a majority minority district serving a great portion of Detroit. And as the chair of the Detroit caucus, I am honored, honored to pay homage to her today. She was a champion for equity and equality. While serving on the Detroit City Council, she was at the forefront of key decisions that revitalized the city's economy. She made history as the first black woman from Michigan elected to Congress, and she immediately got to work fighting for the rights of workers and empowering women in America and across the globe. At any time, Barbara Rose Collins was involved in a project Detroiters and black Americans had one of the most courageous and hardworking advocates on their side. Barbara Rose Collins was not only a sorority sister of mine and my colleague from the House District 29, she was a hero who paved the way for me and every other black woman in this chamber to stand here in this chamber today. She opened so many doors for black women in Michigan and across the country. I am thankful for the impact she has had on me our state and our country. While tragically we lost her in 2021, her legacy lives on in all of those she inspired. We are her legacy. Sora Barbara Rose Collins, because of you, we can. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.